Marlon Briscoe was called the magician, made football history when he became the first black quarterback in what is now the NFL. Well, the team he was set first quarterback for? Yep, the Broncos. Well, Briscoe died last Monday at the age of 76, and now his family has started a fundraiser for his funeral expenses. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon learned other former Broncos are spreading the word and how you can help. What does it mean to be a quarterback? He's viewed as being the leader of that team. And who comes to mind? Often hear about Tom Brady, Drew Brees, Peyton Manning. Now we hear about Russell Wilson. But before there was Wilson, there was Marlon Briscoe. Becoming a Denver Bronco, you have to be aware of the Broncos' our history. So that's how I came to know Marlon Briscoe. And Nick Ferguson was starstruck when he eventually spoke with Briscoe, who was the first starting quarterback in the AFL before it became the NFL more than 50 years ago. African American quarterbacks back in the day, they were not really promoted or viewed as faces of the franchise. Ferguson says the Broncos wanted Briscoe to play different positions, but he pushed to be the QB. I see a lot of ourselves in, in Marlon, and the fact that he didn't really listen to people saying what he wasn't able to do. Briscoe died last week at 76 years old from complications of pneumonia. Learned the value of resiliency from our father. That and our, our love for popcorn. The family started a GoFundMe to pay for the funeral expenses, and the Broncos have reached out to help in some way. They wanted to be a discreet, but they, let's just say they are basically making a really good contribution to the services and to help us kind of bridge, you know, the gap for his service next week. We bleed orange and blue, no. It is true. Support Ferguson says is needed, especially since Briscoe played in a different time when it came to benefits. Those guys were playing their hearts out, leaving parts of themselves out there on the field, but the revenue wasn't generated like it is now. There was no massive TV deals, no Nike contracts and all of these things. Helping another former player who wanted to move past the titles and focus on the people behind them. He's hoping that uh, we get to a point where we look at all quarterbacks uniquely the same. Carrying on a legacy, the one who led the way would be proud of. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. The magician. And the family's taking donations and tell his service next week. The goal is $16,000, and if they beat it, his family says they'll donate the rest to a scholarship. Did Briscoe's name at the University of Nebraska Omaha, which helps young athletes go to college. And we have a link to that right now on thedenverchannel.com.